All right, welcome back everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our second trial. Our first trial didn't quite go as planned. We didn't get that seven win trial, but we get another chance. So here we go. We're going to get our second draft for our expedition. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we have Teemo. We just did Teemo yesterday, but I'm a big Teemo fan. We could go... Um, and that's like the fun route. I haven't, I've, five is the most wins I've gotten with a Teemo deck so far. Uh, so I haven't gotten the seven win Teemo deck yet. Um, let's set this up here. We have Garen, which Garen is, is just good and solid. Um, every time I, I draft Garen, I usually do pretty good. The thing I really like about this Garen bucket is these two cards with it. Vanguard Redeemer is awesome. Three mana, three, three, draw a unit. It's a very good card. And Silverwing Vanguard is just a really good challenger. Challenger is a nice keyword. So I actually really like this Garen bucket, even though it's kind of boring. Um, this Draven bucket I really like also. Rearguard, Trifarian are both awesome. The thing is, is we just did a Noxus uh deck with these cards so i kind of so i want to switch it up so we're let's go with the garen with these two strong cards let's go demacia and hopefully i'm hoping that we get another demacia region after this i want to go um you know 100 percent demacian if if we get lucky i'm gonna you know let's see if we get that yeah we did all right we can go 100 percent demacian uh, that's let's do it um those are both two pretty good buckets but fiora is awesome blade keeper is awesome silverwing scout's good too let's just go straight up demacian let's do it okay so we want to make sure that we have enough ones and twos and stuff like that demacian so demacian is like you know just straight up mid-range um and and so, yeah, we're going to be kind of building a mid-range deck where we're going to have some powerful top-end cards. Radiant Guardian is amazing. It's a great top-end card. Bright Steel Protector is a good two-drop, so I like that. Radiant Strike is pretty average, and we already got another Silverwing Vanguard, so this is a very easy pick. But but while we're taking stuff, we have to make sure we can get enough ones and twos because uh, that's something that you can run into a problem with Demacia is you could just get too many threes, fours, and fives as you can see. So buckets that have one at one and two mana cards are going to be at a premium. Uh, but anyway, I, I really like Blade Keeper and Cavalry is an okay five drop. We get another Silver Ring Scout in a succession. I think Blade Keeper is the best card out of these and Cavalry is maybe the next one. So I'm going to be taking this. But again, that's more fours and fives. So we got to be looking for ones and twos. All right, so the... These two both have Bright Steel Protector for two drops, so that's good. Um, so then we can take a Duelist, and Duelist or back to back. Well, we'd rather have Duelist, so we can get a good two and a three with Bright Steel Protector and Duelist. However, with that being said, oh, these two cards are really powerful. <clears throat> Vanguard Squire. Whenever you summon an Elite, reduce the cost by one, and we're gonna have a good amount of Elites, being Mono Demacia. We don't yet, but, you know, like, basically later on in the game, this can be, like, a 0 or 1 mana, 3-3. Three, three. But it's really this Bannerman. This Bannerman, the Allegiance will trigger every time. So whenever we play Bannerman, all of our allies get plus 1, plus 1 in play. So it, it's a 4 mana, 4-4, four, four, plus give everything else plus 1, plus 1. That card is awesome. Like, that's just incredible. Um, that's tough to pass, honestly. I do want I do want these, but that's tough to pass. But I kind of feel like we may need to pass it. Yeah, Protector works great with Fiora. And yeah, we can give other things Challenger. I don't know. What do y'all think? Like, we already have a whole bunch of fours. If I take this, I basically don't really need more fours. But that Bannerman is just it's tough to pass. Um... But just curve consideration wise, like maybe we need to. <laughs> Most people vote for the for the middle one, actually. They people want the back to back. Get that trick. That is a really, really strong trick. 
You think the banner is too good? I could see taking it and then just hating my curve later, but I mean, Squire can maybe, you know, it, it says four drop, but, you know, we can basically cast it at three, two, one, you know, like it'll reduce in cost over time. So we can fit it in later game, double spelling with this pretty easily. Oh no, Harem King, you, you went 6 1. Dang, I'm sorry. Back to back does win games. Y'all are saying the Bright Steel Protector is too good to pass up. It is that is very good. It is very good. So you think I should take the back to back over the duelist? We don't have any tricks right now. Yeah, most people want to take this back to back. All right, I guess I'm fine with it because yeah, we don't have any tricks right now. I thought it'd be kind of easy to get one of those tricks later though. Yeah, there's there's a ton of three drops in Demacia, so I'm I'm not too worried about passing up the three drop. All right, y'all talk to me into it. All right, so we have Bright Steel Formation, which this card is just obviously incredible, um, but it costs nine mana. That's why it's incredible. Uh, Laurent Protege is awesome. I like the protege, so I guess we're going to take this. So that's a three drop at least, but we need ones and twos. Ooh, War Chefs. War Chefs is one of the best two drops. And Barrier, you know, like we need we need tricks. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a pretty easy pick here. Battlesmith. Yes, please. Dude, I just want all the Battlesmiths. That's a good that's a good one too, but Battlesmith plus Redeemer. I'm gonna take the Battlesmith. Cause we so our Battlesmith, whenever we summon an elite, get a plus one plus one. Mm, no one, no two mana cards. I don't like that. I don't like there's no one mana and two mana cards. Um I don't love, yeah, I just, I don't really love any of these choices. Scout's my least favorite card out of all of them. Well, I don't really like Secession that much either, but Secession, at least we can use extra mana to cast the Secession, because <clears throat> it's a spell. So yeah, it's kind of cheaper. Redeemer is very good. And those are both elites. Um, we got a lot of fours, don't we? I guess we didn't take the fours that last time. Yeah, maybe we just go. I'll, we'll just go this route. Yeah, it can be a turn two play. We don't play anything on turn one. Yuck. All right, so Purify can get rid of Flyers. You know, like Flyers can be a huge problem, so we can Purify a Flyer. And then have a Barrier to protect something. Like Fiora. Dawn Speakers is really, really powerful. Um, and... Duelist isn't bad either. I think I want the spells. I think we're going to take the Purify and Barrier, even though Dawn Speakers can just win games. But I think we need some spells. And I think that we'll be really weak to Flyers, so getting Purify is good. Okay, each one of these has a two mana card. That's good. Plucky Poro is just so weak. I think we're going to go this route. Just take the Bright Steel Protector and the Vanguard Caval Cavalry. Even though I think I'd rather have single combat than either of these cards. I just don't really want Plucky Poro. Same Bright Steel any day. Alright, we're getting a good amount of Bright Steels. I love Feather Fleet Feather Tracker. And Laurent Protégé is good also. So, you know, like we get these Challengers. But Bright Steel Protector and War Chefs are both awesome also. So like that's those are two good ones. Uh, we're not going to do this last one. So these are both good. We get two twos or a one and a three. Um, yeah, so if we want like removal spells or just like better to attack with. So we are up to three Bright Steel Protectors. Um, Yeah, we can find some late game. 
I'm not too worried about that. See, these things help out, like to you know give a give us more challengers for other flyers and stuff. I think I want to do take this. Well, the thing is, we have so many threes, fours, fives that, like, by turn six, we were probably going to be, like, double spelling with the threes and stuff like that. Turn seven, we'll cast, like, a three and a four. And so on. That's what, that's whenever we're going to start being able to double spell. So we're, like, hoping to curve out with, like, these with, like, powerful options and then start double spelling late game. I already got three bright steals. I'm going to take this. Like having the one drop. There's another protector. I don't really love these options. I think we're going to just. I'll just go this route. I wonder if we want detain. I wonder if we need to like take detain. Yeah, Detain's a little bit of a greedy pick, but maybe we just need that kind of card. Yeah, Chain Vest isn't great. But I think it plays it plays kind of well. I'm just going to take the Detain. Oh, no, we could have had Detain with Warchefs. Single combat with Scout. I like Detain Warchefs better. And then Duelist plus back-to-back. -back. That's good, too. All right, so do I want Duelist back-to-back -back or War Chef's Detain? I think I want War Chef's Detain. War Chef's is awesome. All right, well, I guess that's our deck. Ooh, I can trade the Chain Vest for a back-to-back. -back. Look at that. That's a great trade. Trade Purify or trade Secession for Repost. That's a great trade also. But we're going to take this back-to-back. -back. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah I, I actually don't mind Chain Vest too much either. I like Chain Vest. No, uh, no. With uh, with Legends of Runeterra, you don't keep the, your drafted cards. You just get your. There is a reward afterwards for the draft, but the drafts are a lot cheaper because of that. The cost of a draft is the same as um, as the, the cost to enter a draft is. It's basically three dollars uh, money wise, but it's it's the same to, as a champion wild card because you always get a champion at the end. And with this, you you also get a whole lot more games and everything, because you get two trial, you get you get two drafts, you get to play two drafts for that one. Um, but you always get a champion in your prizes no matter what. And yeah, and you also get a free draft every week. You don't have to. All right, so this is just free because supported ally gets plus one plus one. So we give this. So this is a three two. It takes one damage, but it was remember it was just a two one. Now it's still just going to be a two one. So even though it took that one damage, so it was just a free attack. Yeah. You, so yeah, you do get. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. So it is really cool because you get to you get a free draft every week, and I think I just pass. <clears throat> and also your re your weekly re rewards almost give you enough shards for another draft. You get like two thirds of the way to another draft if you get all the way to to level thirteen. The the most weekly rewards that you can. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Um. Yeah, so they're a great deal, and the drafts usually take about like. Four, you get like four hours of gameplay, basically. Because each draft is like, you know, close to two hours that you get to do. So you get a lot of uh, gameplay time, too. A lot of good, good practice and everything. And then, like Rad just said, after you... You can pay for three drafts, and you get those rewards for three drafts in a week. After that, you play drafts for absolute for just free, but then you don't get the rewards. But you still get a bunch of XP. Like they give you a lot of experience as far as leveling up and getting uh, free cards goes. So 
So the drafts are, are a great deal on here. Vanguard Cavalry. What's up, Balding Yeti? Not much. The Yordle here's with me. Playing some some sweet legends of Runeterra. They'll never see us coming. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you don't bomb out immediately. Uh they're attacking with the one four. They are getting aggro. Thanks, number 15. So I don't have space for the protector. Yeah, I could definitely see them adding that with the next expansion. You know, like, I could definitely see them adding that as a mechanic, you know, like a reach mechanic. You know, can block elusives can't fight on an empty stomach I could play the post combat two mana three two. Oh gosh, that's scary. So I can play that. I still have the mana for back to back. Oh, come on. Boo. Well, we were going to stay alive until they granted Darius Elusive. Okay, well, let's see. You can trade out a Detain for a Cavalry. Nah. Trade out a Redeemer for a Radiant Guardian, maybe. Or Purify for Scythria the Bold. Ooh, Scythria the Bold is so good. I don't really like giving up my Purify, though. But this card's just too good. All right, Purify, you're gone. Hey, Blade, doing good. Doing good. All right, so we got a slower, more controlling deck here. We'll keep one Redeemer. There we go. <laughs> yeah, elusive and Darius. Wouldn't wouldn't think that you would say those together, but of course I'm ready. My shield is yours. Just gonna put this here. I'll stop you. I hope this works. Yeah, we got Garen and Fiora. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. 
or full on Demacia. I walk my path alone. That's a good card. Protect and strike. <clears throat> Maybe we're playing against an aggro deck. I was thinking with Karma, Ezreal, they're going to be slower, but actually maybe not. They look pretty aggressive. First big mission. Hey CDN dude, welcome back. We're doing good. We lost our first one, and this one doesn't look super promising either. We're just gonna have to try to outrace this 4 3 flyer. First one got four wins. Got the records over here. Seven awesome months. Thank you so much there, Yager. I appreciate that. Oh, uh, the track so the tracker covers the record, so you can't see the record. Hmm. May have to move the record then. So basically the, the question is just going straight into combat or playing the cavalry first. And usually I would just go straight into combat, but with them likely just having like a you know more elusive stuff, I'm gonna play this cavalry first. I know that Pretty soon I'm going to start, you know, instead of having my camera up here, I'll have my camera down here like every other Legends of Runeterra streamer, and it'll be, you know, like I'll just have it boxed off like right there and there, and so I'll make it a little bit bigger and it'll be down here. I've still just been very busy and I haven't, I haven't gotten to that yet. That's scary. That's scary, but it's a 2-3, <clears throat> so I can't just challenge and take that. Yeah, yara has been here since the beginning, basically 37 months. I think my first month to be partnered was September. So it would have been, so I guess that's 36, 37, 38. So maybe like 40 ish total months. Possible. All right, hopefully we're not dead. Uh, I've been better. I'm gonna do I just let the three one die and then draw a card? Press on. 
Oh, right, that thing dealt two damage. Did it kill two things? Hopefully it still just killed the one thing. I think it still just killed the one thing. So we can play that. We got back to back. Give me a weapon. I'll give it firepower. Not gonna outgun me. If I must. And that is that's six damage. That's nice that I can wait till they do something and then respond with back to back. I don't have to just play mine right away. They have to act first. Deal three damage to two enemies. That is busted. Should probably give them plus three, plus three each. GG's. All right, got the win. Good job, back to back. All right, we get to add another champion. Garen, Fiora, or Lux. Those are some good options. Um, Garen doesn't have, like, Detain, Vanguard, Cavalry. We already got a bunch of fives. That's, that's not ideal. Fiora gives us another Protector and a single combat. That, I, I like that. Lux gives us a reinforcements, which can be super powerful, and a prismatic barrier. And Lux, Lux can just take over games. So that's very enticing also. I think I like the Fiora, though. Fiora is just pretty awesome. And we get two, two more two drops. I'm going to take Fiora. Shield wall. Okay, got our win. Let's go. Hey, Lieutenant Dan. Uh, for, for a while, at least, yeah. I'm playing Legends of Runeterra instead. And I love this game. I wrote the other day about why I like the game more than Magic. Why I think it's really good. Um, so if you haven't checked out this game yourself, I hope, I hope you do. And hope you uh, check that out there. Okay, I'm going to try something. This is kind of risky. What are they playing? Hecarim, Brawn, Ash. So it's risky. So I, so what, what I want to do is I want to hit pass. They play a two drop. And then I play Protector, giving this uh, the barrier. And then hit them for three and, and kill their two drop. That would be ideal. But it's also possible if I just say pass, they do nothing. If I play this, they probably do nothing, because they probably just don't put anything in front. So I guess I should just hit for five. Even though I'm kind of wasting the protector thing, the barrier. But but basically, they're just going to take the five, and then afterwards, then they'll play their two drop. Winter take you. Oh, or they have Icefield Archer. Never mind, that card's great. All right, well...
or they have that card. But I'm not going to attack and try to trade the 3 2 with the 3 1 because we have Laurent Protege. Break their spirit and their soul. Oh, I could. Oh, I still should have just attacked because then. Oh, yeah, it's true. It has the barrier, so I, I still could have dealt the three damage if I would have just attacked with the two because the barrier would have ate the damage. So I didn't miss that three damage, didn't I? Yeah, y'all are right. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. Oh, cards bull. I demand Yes, I missed that three points of damage. Uh, wish I had one more man and I could have the barrier available still. Alright, so we're going to pull this one here, we're going to pull this here, and pull this here. Just do some trades. Yeah, I wish I had one more mana and I could have barrier available. Wouldn't be too surprised if they have some frostbite. There's a frostbite. Just how it is. Wish I would have dealt that three damage earlier. They'd be down to four. Oh, right. My creatures had fearsome, so I didn't even have to pull those starlets here, but oh well. Let us get going. It's an 8 8 when I'm summoned frostbite enemies with three or less health. Dang. It's an 8 8. Yeah, I, I like this version. Yeah, this is uh, Prismo, this version of Careless Whisper, but yeah, it is a good, just a good song. So I'm going to take nine 
We'll barrier this. And I'll play War Chefs. And then go straight to attacks. Oh, I guess I can just block. So they're at seven. They have one creature that can block. Alright, obviously I need to set up this War Chefs better. Um, here you go here. Right, let's see, let's do War Chefs, then you, then you. Here, you take the one creature that can block those things. And then two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't even know if I should take that thing. Fly away while you can. Oh, right, that thing's an 8-8. Eight, eight. That thing can block. Oh, well. Still lethal damage. Yep. So I still had the, I had the back to back, but I don't just have to use it immediately. Yep, yeah, if they try to do like the frostbite or something, I can let the frostbite happen and then back to back. Because we had lethal. Cythrio won that game. Cythrio was awesome. Okay, so we can chain, trade Scout for Battlesmith. Yes, please. Trade Secession for Sergeant. That's a good trade also. Or trade back-to-back -back for Lancer. That's not that bad of a trade either, but I'm doing this one. I'm going to get another Battlesmith. Get another awesome two-drop. Sorry, Scooter. I'm going to take the Battlesmith. Back-to-back -back wins. There you go. Back-to-back -back wins. That's more like it. Mulligan. Much better. Thanks, Vince. Heimerdinger is their only champion? That's an egg. So they have three Heimerdingers in their deck. That's a lot of Heimerdingers. Hmm. Then they're going to drain and get another spider. Just untap and drain on your turn. Untap, drain on your turn. Yeah, well, you got to answer Heimerdinger right away. But... Don't really have... Don't really have the removal too much. I got the single combat. That's about it. Remember the fallen. Okay. Fair enough. Injustice. Hmm. The steel. I've got your back. All right, we got a Battlesmith and a 3-2. Battlesmith with Silver Wing Vanguard is awesome. Turn 
turning those Silver Wing Vanguards into three twos. Of course, Battlesmith with Garen isn't bad either. What seems to be the problem? Uh, you. You seem to be the problem. Let's see. So I could just play the Challengers plus single combat, you know, to be able to play single combat right now. Or I could just go Redeemer, I don't draw a card, and then combat. But Redeemer would be a 4-4. Four, four. Of course, we have to kill Heimerdinger right away. This is the this is the safer route because these two colors have so much like cheap removal that does like one or two you know damage they'd be able to kill if I try to play this and have like a three two. So it's just the safer route. We don't draw the card, but I think I'm okay with that. We fight for those who cannot. Nice. Get a barrier. Um. No, I don't see that RDT not connected thing. Maybe try try refreshing. Wait, what is this? Static shock. Do one damage to each. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I've, I've changed games component chat. Uh, Chatoy. No, it's okay. Um, this new game, Legends of Runeterra. If you haven't checked it out, it's been out for about a month. It's amazing. I wrote some stuff the other day of why I like it more than Magic. And so, if, if you're a Magic player, maybe uh, hope you check out this game also. Because it is quite good. We arrived as soon as we could. Good it's free to play. Do your worst. I wonder what their plan is. It's free to play. The, the reward system is the best reward system of any card game. Chefs. Um, I guess they could have ruination. That'd be really bad for me. Deal one to all enemy units. Heal three. All right, let's have. This thing capture. Okay, they surrendered. I was gonna have that thing capture my battlesmith just to tuck my battlesmith away. And then, you know, I was gonna attack, I was gonna bring that thing, you know, I was gonna kill it, and my battlesmith was gonna come back. But maybe I just wanted to save my battlesmith for later and put it on something that wasn't gonna die yet, like something like the Garen. It's like if there was like a, a sweeper later on. Ooh, get to add another champion. All right, so Garen has a sergeant and a reinforcements. I don't really love reinforcements, but I do like the, the sergeant. I think that's a good card. Fiora gives us a bright steel formation. I already got one of those, right? Yeah, so that'd give us a second one of those. Uh, I don't really want a second nine drop. And a swift wing lancer. That's a great card, though. But then Lux would give us a sergeant and a reinforcements also. Bleh. 
Hmm. We don't have like one obvious pick that I absolutely love. Um, the best non champion is the Swift Wing Lancer. So I could see just going for the Fiora in that. We don't have a lot of expensive spells, but we have a few as far as Lux is concerned. I'm sorry, Calsonic. I do appreciate that, though, but also... Sorry to hear. So we have, yes, yeah, so we have no just obvious great answer. Because basically, I don't really want reinforcements and I don't really want Bright Steel Formation. I don't really want the eight or nine mana cards. Otherwise, we get a five and a three, a five and a three, a six and a three. So like they're all basically the same. I don't really have any huge preference on Garen or Fiora or Lux. I think I'm just going to take the Fiora with Challenger and the Lancer with Challenger. I think I'll just take those two instead of Garen and Sargent. I don't know. Sargent making this for Demacia can be awesome. Maybe I'll just do that. And then we'll just, this just kind of stick this on the elite plan with, you know, we have the two Battlesmiths. Because four, four Demacia can can win a lot of games. Give all of your allies plus three plus three. That can definitely just win games. I'll I'll just go with that. Now we have two Garens and two Fioras. All right, so now we have four champions. My opponent also has four champions. You always get paired against somebody else that has the same number of champions as you. All right, no one, but we got to cur curve after that. Two, three, four, five. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. Um. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. I've got just the thing for you. Boom, boom. Wow, they just passed. They already had the three banked mana, didn't use it at all. The finest blades for my feet. I need only one to win. Probably have some frostbite stuff. They got ash also. That's annoying. Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about letting it die and then just playing Radiant Guardian. But honestly, Fiora is just kind of too good. Oh, I'm not going to let Fiora die, but yeah, I was definitely considering that. That was definitely considering it, but I think it's better to have the 5-3 the Fiora out here. Hey, Thomas Love. 
Uh, just a couple of days. This is probably stream number three, so with a new name. So not not long. Show them our strength. With the strength of our so this frostbite's the strongest enemy, so our Garen will be frostbitten. Thank you. Thanks, Tom Slav. My shield is yours. I need only one to win. Unfortunately, I can't kill that 3 3. Strike quickly, strike deftly. Test him out. Oh God. No, not you. Try me. It's basically just taking the three three over here so they don't get to just kill one of my two threes for free. Though maybe I should let them die because I just have more creatures that I need to play, and I only have the room for six. Will be served. Ugh, that's gross. But I do need to get rid of this Rhyme Tux Shaman. Oh, come on. Another one of those? Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Strength in grace, beauty in the play. You call these the fight? They're actually ahead now. These Rhine Tusk shamans Banish the are really getting me. <laughs> I pity you. You're welcome, Wave. You're welcome. Ice runs in our veins. Hmm. Bring me the come on, my shrouded world. As soon as we could. Good to fight by your side. Have infinite rhyme tusk shamans. The frost reveals all to me. What a beating. Strike for justice. Run them through. Pause and fail. What's this to do here? Do your worst. 
So, I mean, I blocked the 6-5. The 6-5 is not going to die. I can barrier. I mean, if I just let Fiora die, then, then other things are going to get iced over. It's not like my life gets better. Strike without worry. I still have so many cards in hand, too. Make it fair. You'll make a fine totem. So that's them going down to one with this block. Bitter cold. Okay. Can we take out a shaman? They probably have spells. You cannot stall judgment. Yep. Well, one shaman's gone. Never mind. So I basically had everything die. Ice runs in our veins. I mean, it's just these these shamans have just been completely devastating against me when I'm just playing creatures. It's pretty miserable. Dangerous out there. Take this. Be Demacia. The frost reveals all. Finally, Get one of those out of here. I shouldn't have played the war shafts. I should have waited and played this. Oh, come on. Man, that was so miserable. <laughs> I hated playing that game that whole time. This my cards just did not do anything. That was miserable. All right, uh, detain Sergeant for Senna. Uh, 
Um, I don't think I'm not gonna do any of these. Could do Sergeant for Senna. We don't have any Lucians. It's just four two quick attack. I like. I think four Demacia is really powerful. We already got a, a good amount of fives. I'm gonna keep the Warchefs. Um, I don't like that last trade. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep it. Hey, what's up? Yeah, that was really painful. Uh, we had. We just couldn't do anything. Couldn't do anything at all. Everybody's in here. Storm, Kendis, Rex, Boot. Love it. Fours and fives. New hand. There we go. At least got two and a three. You can curve Battlesmith into some elites. New recruit reporting in. Cythria, you're an elite. What are you doing facing the elites? It's supposed to be on our side. Yeah, freeze the strongest thing. Freeze the strongest thing every round is so powerful. Push back the darkness. Uh, that's really good. If I didn't forge it, you won't want it. I've got your back. So normally I'd just be playing the sergeant, but I, I like giving this a barrier and yeah, keep them from attacking. Maybe I should just play the sergeant anyway. Always two steps ahead. Thanks, Rex. So probably isn't going to go great for me with the Devil Swift Wing Challenger. Um, this is Lucian's just going to flip. They're doing this wrong. I guess I'm just going to give these plus three, plus three and try to kill Lucian. Ooh, we got Lucian out of here. Fiora has transformed. All we have to do is kill two more two more creatures with Fiora, and we win the game. No. Our Fiora. It's okay. We're we're up on cards. We got five, they got four. So we're up on cards. Sight protect me. All right, move that desk up a little bit. There we go. Garen. My heart and sword for Demacia. Because we need to strike twice with Garen to transform Garen. So, want to play it now while we attack. Mm. I guess that's not a good attack anymore. Ooh. That's a bold card draw here. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Do 
discipline and steal. Alright, how much mana am I going to have next turn? 11? So I can go Protégé and then for Demacia. Or I could go basically just Scythria. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. There we go, just Cythria. Cythria, whenever it attacks, gives all my creatures plus one, plus one, and fearsome. Alright, well, there they found another thing they get to block with now. And they can use the 5-5 five five to block one of these things. But then, you know, they're taking a whole lot of damage with the, with this stuff. Alright, that thing can block... Okay, so they take eight. No doubt you've heard yep, take eight. I'm fine with that. I even try? Nope, take four. Do your worst. Take three. <laughs> no, it's okay, Balding Yeti. No, feel free to ask questions. Uh, basically, yeah, so the mana works over here. Each turn, like a turn is, you know, the turns are shared by both players. It's not like one person has a turn, the other person doesn't. But the first turn, just each person gets one mana. The second turn, each person gets two. Then each person gets three and so on. So like the the mana um, just works like that. So you don't have to, like you always hit your land drops. It's awesome. Um, but it's not like where one person has a mana advantage over the other person because one person's on the play and so they hit their land drops first and, and so on. Um, you know, both person, both people have one mana on turn one. Both people have one mana on turn two. You don't have to worry about some people playing tons of ramp spells and they just have a ridiculous amount of mana and you don't and all that. So, like, now this is just turn nine, so now we both have nine. You can save... You can If you don't use some mana, you can save it also. So you can save up to three mana, but that saved mana that you don't use on a turn can only be used to cast spells and not creatures. All right, let's see. Oh, Garen's Judgment. That's pretty good. I guess I'll cast that card. And just in case something happens, I will block here. Just in case. But uh, a battling ally strikes all battling enemies, so this 7-7 seven, this seven, seven strikes all of these things. Well, that's pretty good. Huh. That worked out well. This one shows promise. Uncle, it is good. So hopefully that, that helps their balding Eddie. I shall lead the way. Alright, so they get to rally with the Tiana Crown Guard. But did not attack. Alright, so I got my 10 mana, but now I have that extra one, so I have eleven. Um I think this is just fine to play this. No. We'll play this first. My sword is yours to command. Or I guess I should play the Radiant Guardian first, but whatever. We should be winning. War Mother's Call. That card's cool. So they get the the top unit of their deck. That's an awesome animation too. Oh, it was a Garen. That's that's good. Right now, and then beginning of each turn they would get whatever the top unit of their deck is we just go into play ggs 
All right, four and two. All right, so we get to swap something. That's the other cool part about this this draft. You know, you, you get to do these swaps during the game, which is cool. All right, so we can trade a redeemer. We got three rede redeemers for a protege. We have two proteges. Yeah, we have two proteges, three redeemers. We could flip those numbers. We could trade secession for another blade keeper, which I actually like that trade. I think that's the one I want to do. Blade keeper is awesome. Or we can trade back to back for Swift Wing Lancer. I want to do this. All right, four wins. Yeah, it would have been nice to find a judgment. We haven't seen any judgments, but I guess if you have multiple Garens, Garen, Garen turns into a judgment. It's another reason maybe to take more Garens earlier on. Uh, get rid of that. Get rid of. Just that. I'm gonna keep the barrier. <laughs> yeah, they have a three color deck. This is the only place you can have three different regions. You can't have that in constructed. I always auto give up when I accidentally get three. They just passed. I'll play my protege. empty stomach <laughs> yeah just guy players all right I think I'm just gonna pass reduce the cost of the allies in your hand by one ash so yeah I'm just gonna pass um so I can bank the mana for the Prismatic Barrier. You know, I, I could have cast a Redeemer, but being able to bank the mana means we get to play Garen and we got a uh, Barrier backup for Garen. Um, no blocks? That's 10. Yuck. No blocks. Now I can play Sith Read the Bold, still keep this barrier back up. Ah, or I can have judgment. Lead our charge. Demacia, now and forever. Now and forever. Demacia of a feather. Winter take you. That hurts. That was definitely my plan. Feel the sizzle. Head to the base. Charge. Positive. My plan was definitely to make this, you know, three three power and the block the ash. We can still make it a two five and kill this archer. All right, so the problem with using a barrier, let's see. So let's see, right now we have six mana. Next turn we'll have seven. So if I cast the barrier, then we don't get to judgment next turn. But that's fine. We can still back to back next turn. I mean, do I really, I, don't, I guess I don't really need to use the barrier. I'll, all I'm doing is just taking five damage. It doesn't kill Cythria. We'll 
save it. Mm. Now that kills Cythria. Oh, this thing has overwhelm, right? Got a block. So Trindamir dying is not really that great for me because it turned whenever Trindamir dies turns into a 9-9 nine -nine instead of that. So I you know I could have switched those around and killed Trindamir, but Alright, so I have back to back or Garen's judgment. Sweet. Five and two. All right, we could trade Detain, turn it into a one drop. I don't mind that. I don't want to trade Battlesmith. Single combat into a barrier. That's not too bad either. No, I like the single combat. So basically, do we want to trade a detain and turn it into a one drop? We have two detains right now. We have seven fives and three sixes. We have like no one. We have one one. It's probably good to get a one drop. Um. Yeah, I think we trade detain. Get a one drop. It is an elite as well. All right, Kasten, have a great night. I don't know, we only have eight spells. We have 28 units. We do kind of need to keep our spells. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip it. I think we'll probably need to keep the spells, honestly. <laughs> now gonna keep the detain all right so they have a lot of they have some power at the top end with ash and anivia anivia's rough yeah 
Yeah, Nivea is really good. I wonder how good this card is in Constructed, honestly. One mana, one, two. Whenever it dies, you shuffle two one mana five fives into your deck. I wonder how good that card is in Constructed. Hey, Nenyal, you made it to the final boss. Congrats. One way to test them out. Yeah, this does seem pretty scary early game, doesn't it? I'm surprised they didn't block with it. If you have a Yeti, summon an enraged Yeti. Otherwise, what's the otherwise? Create one on top of your deck. Hmm. That card's not so bad, actually. So, yeah, they get three mana, five, five. I guess we'll create one on top of their deck. I don't know. This could just be a waste of single combat. Oh, Kokiri, thank you. Still holds up. Thanks, Kokiri. Kokiri said, I followed over two years ago because of the music. That is awesome. Thank you. Strength and grace, beauty in the blade. Yeah, we got some elites. All right, there's a five-five. The five-five that we knew that they created on top of their deck. That I definitely wasn't just surprised by. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Hmm. For those who cannot. Um, taking a break for now, you know, kind of like a full move for now, punch. Uh, they, they already drew one of the other enraged yetis. I don't know if when I'll be back. I stand ready. Like my blade. Yeah, I know. I know the the one. Stay they got one enraged yeti on top, on top of the deck, right? Oh wait, tall tails created the card. What's tall tails? With justice and honor. Because of the spell and the last breath. Yeah, the last breath created two random ones, right? But like like two randomly, like not just like the next two cards, right? Maybe they drew the random one also immediately. I knew the tall tails put one on top. Thank you, Punch. Um, if you if you haven't so, uh, Punch, if you haven't if you don't really know this game, if you haven't checked this game out at all, I really recommend it. I wrote about it 
of why I like it more than Magic. I do think it's it's a great game. All right, so we have the barrier on Fiora, so we can have Fiora kill Ash, and. Well, I guess they get to kill my Garen now. But they did, did get rid of an Ash to do that. But that wasn't good. They have Ash and Anivia, so they've seen two Ashes. So they just get this. I have eight mana. Why can't I have nine mana? If only Fiora could see me now. She can. She's not impressed. There's a third ash. We are not in a good spot. Two five fives. Not in a great spot. I have to take the Ash with the Protege. Otherwise they can kill um, whatever else I take. They, they kill with this Rhyme Fang Wolf. There goes my Fiora. Okay. Protect and strike. Another five five. Well, it's a barrier or five four to try to keep it alive. I don't like that whenever they kill my protege, they're gonna get Ash back. But I still don't love where we are. Why would they not attack with the two five fives? They're just gonna do that. Okay, there we go. I pity you. All right, well, we're still at four. Not dead yet. We 
We're living on the edge. Oh no. Hopefully that doesn't find Anivia. I guess Anivia is... Yeah, just like a 2-4 and a 3-5. Okay, so maybe not find Anivia. So obviously I can just play War Chefs. Alright, I guess I will then. I'm gonna say, I may need to clear up space. That's not a good card. But I also can't play my spell. Okay, let's see. So we're going to play... Or let's see, how are we going to do this? So we're going to... At Seems kind of unnecessary. Right out. No, Nenio lost the final boss again. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe we should have done that all out attack. Need more room. I told you. Stop getting all these five fives. Yeah, so tough means that uh, whenever it takes damage, it takes one less damage. Whenever it's supposed to take damage. So like it was supposed to take one damage there, so it takes one less. So if it's supposed to take three, it takes two. And so on. Yeah, I am just giving them time to build up. Okay, that's a lot of attacks. Look out there. All right, so block, 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 block. Hands are for forging, not fighting. I don't like how my battlesmith's dying, but Don't want to risk this Lauren protege. My heart and sword for Demacia. Unfortunately, those are still just four. They're four fours. Don't really match up against five fives. Okay. <laughs> yeah, tough math is hard to do. Yeah, you can only block one, 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 and one. It's basically like these things are attacking like in lanes. Like you can only put one thing in front of one thing. No double blocking in, in this game. Yeah, it does make Trample a lot better, that's for sure. Many tribes, one They hit it? No. Oh, no. Oh, Allegiance. So, yeah, so they grant the top unit in the deck plus three, plus three, and overwhelm. 
Bones are bone with flames in hand. Yeah, so it did hit. Yep. So I can play the protector, give something a barrier. I've got your back. I'm gonna do that with the four four. Okay, you're 5-1 right now, trial one. Very nice, Harem King. Frostbite all enemies. Okay, I guess that happens. I'll just pass. No attacks. <laughs> so that was the top card, was a Yeti Yearling. Gives a plus three, plus three, and overwhelm, but thankfully it's... Something that's pretty small to begin with. They got a cow. This has been a really good game. I have 14 cards left. They have 17 cards left. Oh, I wish I could play set three. Uh... a play trigger not a summon trigger yeah that's that's what i'm thinking is detaining my own creature and then playing cythria that's what i'm considering doing Attack i'm not gonna do that though Hey, Wolfpack, yeah, I'm moving to this new game that is awesome, Legends of Runeterra. I don't know if you've checked out this game before, but I just I honestly just like it more than Magic. And so I, I wrote why I like it more than Magic there if you want to check that out. If you're interested in, in trying out this game too, it's, it's free, has great rewards for playing. You can build up a collection. Really, you can build... A collection for free not too difficultly much easier than magic or any other game bring me the calm of an ice shrouded world Stay resolute. The frost reveals all. oh man i need to play that thing Hold fast. Shield up. Press on. My creatures have barrier, and I get to attack every turn. Um, yeah, not right now. I'm planning on, on playing this game. But, you know, we'll see, but... This is my plan for now. This game is all but over. Round 20. It was a very good game, though. Every time we hit Sag, we just get barriers. I mean, nine mana cards are supposed to take over. Alright, so it looks like we are going to... 
Going to the final boss. We're six and two. Let's get that seven win expedition. All right. We get to swap some cards out if we want. All right, we can trade a cavalry for a tracker. I kind of like doing that, trading a five drop for a one drop. Let's see, war chefs. I don't want to keep the war chefs. Protege. Yeah, I think I like doing this first one. Cavalries are good, but we ha we have two Garens. We have a Radiant Guardian. You know, like how many like of these five drops do we really need? Like we have five of them basically. We have five five drops. You don't you know not counting detains, but five of those. Let's just take another tracker because uh, Bright Steel Protector can make the trackers even better also. All right, up next, we could trade another five drop for a first blade. I'm not going to do that. I like the five, I like the cavalry more. We could trade a protector for a repost. That's actually not a bad. Repost is awesome. We kind of need another trick. Or we can trade a sergeant for a Laurent Chevalier. I do like this card. I think this card's underrated. I really do. But I think I want this repost. I want another trick. All right, now we can trade Protector for Sergeant. Nope. Battlesmith for Barrier. Nope. Tracker for Repost. No, we don't need another one now that we just did that. All right, skip. Uh, Blade Keeper for Sergeant. Nah. Radiant Guardian for Tiana. Uh, that's That looks pretty good, honestly. I think I'm going to do this. So Tiana costs eight. But just play Tiana Rally is so powerful then a seven seven tough is just so big sorry rating guardian all right then trade reinforcements for on guard i like that trade back to back nope trade barrier nope i'm gonna do this one i don't really like the reinforcements and we just got an eight drops so now we get to get rid of our other eight drop get an on guard give all of our things challenger final battle we have not won with fiora no, we haven't gotten a win with Fiora yet. Um, let's see. Where's our where's our playlist? Final boss. Get those final boss emotes. Here we go. Yeah, this is the game where Fiora will win. That'd be nice. All right, it looks like we're playing against a teamer deck. Hello. Yeah, Remedy, yeah, I, I do need to change those emote names. That's on my long list of, my long to-do list is to change those. But yeah, good call. Yep, gotta do that. They got six mana over here if they're playing spells. Four, deal three to each creature that was summoned this round. Okay. So it gets plus one, plus one. So I think it just stays as a three, two, right? Yeah, so it just stays with that two toughness. Because you pumped it up. So they just spent a four mana spell just to do two damage to my two, four. The 
cannot hide. Yeah, so that's that's kind of yeah, that's definitely different how it works with this game. But like basically, if you heal, if you heal their toughness back towards where they started, it will just stay there. All right, I'm just gonna play the redeemer for tempo's sake, even though we don't have. You know, we don't we don't get to draw a card with it. So this will heal up to three, and then it'll go back down to, to one. Shadow, shadow is ephemeral. Uh, can't really do anything about this. I can I can capture the shadow assassin with detain, but then they kill my thing. They get shadow assassin back. I don't I don't love that. Hmm. Maybe I just let it happen. Okay, no, I so we're gonna detain it. Y'all are saying not worth. Yeah, so they'll draw a card when they kill the unit that detains, but they were already gonna put that back in hand and play it again and draw a card. So like they were already going so like they were going to be drawing that card if I don't play the detain. I could have also just detained my protege. Like that was the other thing that I was thinking about doing was just detaining the protege on something else. That whenever the other thing died, I would have got my protege back. Like maybe that's the the um, maybe that's the play. Certainly the aggressive line that I went with. I felt like that my line's a little bit better because we have the on guard where we can attack out, you know, with the on guard and challenge other stuff and let this thing hit in. Okay, yeah, looks like I should have just let it happen. Yep, looks like y'all are right. And then, yeah, just let it happen. Play Redeemer, draw a card. Looks like I should have done that. Whoa, really? Really? They don't just take the thing that... What? I don't understand. I'll just take the Redeemer and get their card back. Stand for what's right. <laughs> Thanks, Burnt Toast. Get out 
of my mind, oh, you're asking why there was a name change. Oh, I thought you said you liked the name change. Sorry. Um, I just wanted a, a versatile name change that can be used with any game and doesn't just tie me to magic. <clears throat> yeah, I did not did not play this game perfectly. Yeah, th I think that deny turn was wrong. So on guard for five damage removing Yeti would have been worth. So like then you say so you're saying play the on guard have Redeemer take the Yeti, and then they would get their... they get their Shadow Assassin back. So I would, I would trade my On Guard and the 3-1 to take their Yeti, and they gain an ideal 5, and they get a Shadow Assassin. And Garen would have got one strike. Will bring honor to the town guard name. If only your sister were more like you. The calm before the screams. Onward to victory. So is this, so is it worth it to have my 3-1 kill their 5-3 and then they get another Shadow Assassin back? Is that even worth it? You think so before when I would have dealt five five damage? I don't think. Yeah, see, I don't think so right now because next turn we can play this bright steel formation, give all our stuff barrier, and I can attack with barrier. But I did like. Uh, I guess I have to be worried about. I have to be worried about avalanche. If I if I block with Tiana, I have to be worried about them avalanching. No, because then wait, this is play, give the barrier. So no, I don't really have to be worried that much worried about it. A threat. Okay, so yeah, we'll just block here. No, I'm thinking about avalanche on next turn, not not this turn, but avalanche next turn whenever I play bright steel formation, because then they would have a, a chance to play something. So I was thinking Avalanche here, but they already have the barrier, so it's all good. So they still have five cards over there. 
it should be Garen strike twice. So next turn we get start of round rally again. Whatever. We will not hesitate. Yeah, this is the expedition. We are on the final boss. We're six and two. Trying to get the seven win expedition. And we are quite far ahead, but they, you know, they could, they could draw like Wrath of God, but then we, we would respond by detaining. So actually we'd be fine there. Yeah. So the, actually they draw Wrath of God. We're good. They draw Ruination because we'll just detain. Oh, uh, but they would get back there 2 one. That's not good enough. Attack. We get to attack every turn. Vengeance, kill a unit. Major should be not a thing nor her. Wait, what? No, I wanted to detain the other way. For you. What? My sword is yours to command. No doubt. Uh, I targeted the wrong way. Yeah, I have to target who's detaining and then who to detain. Yep, I just targeted the wrong way. I mean, that's just my my bad. I messed it up. The wicked must fall. I didn't even get the warships buff. Oh well. Oh well, we got the win. Seven wins. Victory fanfare, let's go. 1500 XP. Trial complete. All right, let's claim this reward first. Let's get our epic capsule. Epic capsule, we got a champion. It got upgraded. Champion. So we got a Braum. Hey, Matthew. All right, now let's check. All right, let's check our other... So that's our second time we got upgraded for a champion today. So that's awesome. So we get our 3,000 shards and a champion capsule. Big time win. All right, we got upgraded to a rare wild card and an epic wild card. And we get our last Callista. Wow, awesome. That was a great expedition today. So we got four, to four total champions today because we got a champion capsule in the other... Um, and the other one with the rewards. So we got four, four, uh, total champions and, um, and yeah, got our 3000 shards back, got the entry fee back. So that was great. Awesome. All right. So now we're going to play some constructor. We're going to play a couple of ranked decks. I got a Elmuk sacrifice deck and then discard burn. Those will be fun. All right. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh you know feel free to leave those comments let me know what you're uh playing over in ranked how are the expeditions going for you all that kind of stuff leave those comments over there too but of course hit that like button all right thank you so much for watching some legends of runeterra and i will see you for the next video